TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and um, yeah another late night after work thing so um, <clears throat> decided to do this one tonight it is the um, yes, 2008 120 Carmenier from Santa Rita uh, it is $6.99 at Gabriel's and um, Carmenere is one of those varietals that um, was pretty important in France for a while. Um, it's part of the, it's one of those varietals that's used in the Bordeaux, or can be used in a Bordeaux blend, not necessarily always in it. And um, it seems to have found a, uh, uh, a home in Chile, which is where this is from. It is from the uh, Rappel Valley, uh, that's the D.O., and uh, it's in the Central Valley, or Valle Central, um, in Chile. So the central part of Italy, uh, not Italy, Chile. And um, it's 100% Carmenier. It is aged for six months in French oak. And that's about all I know about it. Um, other than that they have their little write-up on the back. So let's check it out. Pleasant. Hold on. I don't know, there's, there's, there's kind of this candy-fied, it, it reminds me of like a hard candy, like the smell of the hard candy. Um, kind of cherry-like. I just opened it so it's not gonna have, and really hasn't had much time to really do any breathing here. It just reminds me of hard candy, of, of like a a cherry hard candy, or maybe maybe a not really strawberry, but but that type of that type of hard candy that you'd smell, and you get that, a little bit of that confectionery thing, or almost not chemical but artificial type aroma to it. Just now, I'm getting like hints of. I want to say tobacco. Maybe maybe more of a, a, a smoke thing. So it's, it's starting to open up some more as I'm really swirling it. Yeah, so let's see how it tastes. tasty. It's got a, a hint of sweetness to it. You get more of that, that candy, that hard candy type of, um, of flavor to it. Maybe a bit of smokiness to it, so that might be where the tobacco thing's coming from. And, and there's 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 a lightness to it. Um, not much tannin. You don't really get a lot of tannins coming at. There's a lightness to it, and then according to their their tasting notes, there should be a floral um, aspect to it. Which one was ripe red fruit, fragrant spices dominate the bouquet on the palate, fresh, light body, elegant wine with a commanding fruity flavor around it, soft tans give away the uh, Yeah, okay. Um I guess I pretty much get what they what they what they say in the back. Uh, it is light, but it's not like thin. 
You know what I mean? So it's not like it's like, ugh, it's horrible, it's thin, it's watery. It's just a light, it's a light wine. And a hint of feeling like, you know, you're at a picnic or a barbecue. I know you use barbecue a lot, but it doesn't taste like barbecue, but more like a picnic thing. Um, you could be out and about maybe sit on your porch, sitting sitting outside in your backyard or whatever. Um, it's very light wine. This is definitely a wine if you want to pair it with food. You, you wouldn't put it with a thick, juicy steak. Um, this, as a red wine, you probably could pair with. Uh, a grilled chicken, okay, you don't have to put barbecue on it necessarily, but a grilled chicken, maybe you have some other types of sauces with it, but uh, not a lot of sautéed chicken, nothing with like heavy cream sauce, you know, just a basic, you know, like a, like a light chicken dish, um, lighter meats, uh, pork, lamb, uh, they mentioned lamb, so lamb you probably could do pretty well with this, so yeah, um, in, in the vein of a Pinot Noir, because of its because you know, Pinot Noirs are usually not heavy. So, I like it. I like it a lot. And this this is a label I see all over the place. So, you should be able to find it. And I've been wanting to try it. And uh, I'm glad I did. Um, 88. I think it's an excellent, excellent wine. Uh, especially for $7. Good wine. Alright, so, quickly... Um, before I run out of time, I'm trying to make this a quick one. Uh, this Sunday, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be partying, uh, party, partying with it, part of it. Um, but uh, Alan Winecrantz uh, on Twitter, which I should probably put his Twitter name below, um, he is hosting the Twitter Jam Band. Um, a few months ago, after a, after the SA Tweet Camp, San Antonio Tweet Camp, he had like a little impromptu uh, uh, Twitter thing. And a little jam band, and I had, I couldn't go. I had plans that particular night. Um, I had a, like a high school reunion thing, but it was like a like the whole decade of the '80s high school reunion. So it was kind of cool, actually. If you ever if you're if you have a high school, all right. Anyway, uh, so if, if you are involved with your high school reunion stuff and you want to do like a a decade, you know, the ten years. Uh, type of thing, so all the 80s or all the 90s type of thing. It's kind of cool because, you know, obviously you had friends that weren't just in your class. You had friends maybe in a class or two ahead of you or a class or two behind you. Uh, so it's kind of cool to do that. Anyway, so I couldn't go to it because I had that. But um, so this Sunday, we're do they are. I'm not sure if I'm going to be there, but Twitter Jam Band is it's to benefit Hugs for Holly. Um, all the links will be down below. Uh, on the website, assuming that you're watching it. If you're not watching on the website, which I know a few of, are, a few of you aren't, and I know I've got some, I, got, I picked up a couple more iTunes subscribers, so if you didn't know that already, you can subscribe to this as a podcast in iTunes, so you can watch it on your uh, iPhone that way, for sure. Uh, sometimes the file conversion may not be as quick when I upload everything, so if you are watching it on the website through your iPhone, um, well, even the iTunes thing, it should be working now. I have it all set up, so no matter what, it should work. But um, So you want to watch your iPhone, your iPod, on your computer or whatever. Um, you've got that, so you can subscribe via iTunes, so you always get the latest and greatest. Uh, as soon as it's uploaded, it's ready. Um, but uh, So anyway, I might be there for that. Um, so if you're watching, if you're not watching it on the website, links are below, obviously for the wine. Uh, for the Twitter jam band. It's called The Other Halftime Show. And this is what's going on uh, after the Who play. I think they said five minutes after the Who are done playing their halftime gig. Uh, the Twitter jam band will be doing a live stream via Ustream. Uh, so check that out. Uh, hopefully I'll be there. Maybe not. I might stay home to watch the game. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm doing for the big game since uh, we can't use that that phrase that has something about, something about a bowl and something about being super. You know, the NFL has that stranglehold on that word um but uh so you got that going on uh hopefully Salt Lake school will be up by friday night if i'm lucky it'll be up during the day friday but probably friday night it'll be up so i've got uh wednesday i mean today i've got a bunch of reading to do i'll probably do a little reading tonight before i go to sleep and then get my copy done um swag got that ads follow me friend me up facebook twitter 
anywhere else. You've got all the big social networking things there. I think that's going to do it. We'll see everybody again on Friday.